So this is Coach Troop, and he's been the coach of the ski team at Horace Mann for five years now. Um, so what's it like being the coach of the ski team? Well, the ski team, is a, it's a very different team to, to coach because it, it's grown tremendously. For We have now have 29 members of the ski team, and we had started off with 14 members about five years ago. Um, the kids put, uh, they have to be, our season depends on the weather. So that's very interesting. In fact, we haven't even been on the hill yet. It's not December 14th. Um, the local hill where we ski has not been open. So we do what is called dry land training, which is really running and lifting. Um, and that helps them gain strength in their legs and their arms to for the races. What was your role in building up the team over the five years? Well, I'd love to take credit for, for doing that, but the, the, uh, it actually belongs to um, a student, an ex-student alum by the name of uh, Ben Summers who had started the team um, with permission from uh, Bob and Nziati, the athletic director, as a, um, as a, a varsity, not a varsity club, well, I guess it was called a club team. And they raced up at um, Thunder Ridge up in Brewster, or Patterson, New York. Um, but again, they were only given one, maybe or two races through the league. Uh, ben asked me, uh, they were going to start as a varsity team, and they had enough students to do that, so Ben had asked me to coach. I, I taught him in fourth grade, and the next thing I know, uh, the team took off. So it, 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 and it grew from there. We were, I, I always use the, the, the term, we were a stepchild of the, of the, of the league because uh, not being part of the league, they let us race when they could, or they, but they would also um, you know, ask us not to come up if they had a, you know, to redo races and things like that. So um, my biggest news now is that we are actually part of the Section 1 Ski, ski League, uh, and um, we are um, a full-fledged member. So one of the big additions this year is that you were able to join the league on how, how, how is the competition affecting the way you, the way you practice? The well, as I say to the kids, you know, the, the best thing you can do is get, is get yourself into shape. The, to, to win a race, uh, the winners are coming in at 25 seconds, 23 seconds through maybe 27 seconds. That's how long the run is. It's not, it's not real long, but it's quick. It's a race at night, um, and it gets icy. So the, the better shape that you're in, the better you're going to do. There's no doubt about it. And the kids who I, I had for four years, I graduated eight seniors last year, and they realized by the second season that they, you know, they had to stay in shape and get there. And obviously, the more practice time you have on the hill, but we have to you know, make do with what we have. How are you able to cope with having less practice time on the hill than other teams? Well, now that we're a, a team and in a league, we're actually going to put in to get inline skating skis for next year. That'll help us with the, what's called dry land training. Um, and we can actually go on a, a, you know, a slight hill in a parking lot somewhere and put up uh, gates that belong, uh, and, and we can actually get some somewhat ski-like conditions by doing that. So it should be interesting. Of course, they're going to have to wear helmets on the, park, on the blacktop and things. But um, the kids are very anxious to do it. The, the greatest uh, thing again this year, too, is I have um, a lot of freshmen and sophomores that have joined the team. So and, you know, in order to build a team, as you well know, you have to um, you know, start off with the younger you know, crowd and the kids that are into it. So it's been, that's been a very big uh, big change as well. What are your plans with the younger crowd in terms of getting them to a varsity level? Well, that's a very good question because what, what, the, what the league allows you to do uh, when we get to the mountain, if uh, you're 10 boys and 10 girls who are eligible to race, the, the other um, uh, nine or, or 10 kids, whoever's not uh, in the top 10 of each group, they have something called a B race, which is a practice race. So they'll get time in doing that, and then we'll, plus we'll get up to the mountain on the nights we don't race for practice as well. So, and what I'll do is if I see kids that are out timing or, or, or beating some of the starters, uh, they'll get to race. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm hoping that they push the older kids to do well, and the competition you know, should, get pretty, should get pretty good. All right. Thank you very much for your time. You're very welcome. Pleasure.